Hi Taurus, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your January 15th through January 21st uh, tarot reading. We're going to see what comes up. Now this may not resonate with you, just take what does and leave the rest. This is the Angel Answers Tarot deck. So while I'm shuffling this deck and during this reading, I want you to think of a question, okay? Think of a question that you'd like to have answered, okay? A yes or no question, something like that. Some kind of question that you'd like to have answered, okay? This is for the sign of Taurus. Sun, moon, or rising, okay? Think of a question as I'm shuffling and throughout this reading that you would like to have answered. And at the end, we are going to reveal what these cards have to say. Yes or no question, something like that. Hmm. I think it's this one. We will go with that one. I'm gonna put it right here so I don't forget it. Okay. This is sign of this is for the sign of Taurus, January fifteenth through January twenty first. What do you have for the sign of Taurus? Oh. Ah. Some of you may have some going through some um, addictions this week. You may have some obsessions. You may feel, you may be feeling the need to free yourself from something that is obsessive. You could be involved in a toxic situation. Um, let's see what happens here. You may be giving up. You may be giving up on something. Giving up on something. Who knows? Maybe something. somebody was fake. They weren't being true. You know, there was some kind of lies. And now you've decided you're not going to put in an effort anymore. Yeah. It's like, you know what? I'm done. I can't do this anymore. I, it's time for me to uh, stop crying. All right? It's time for me to stop feeling guilty. It's not me. I think somebody could be have been trying to manipulate you and you've finally come to your senses, okay? This could be at work. There could be some work sabotage going on as well. Um, perhaps, you know, somebody could be um, bringing you down in the workforce, you know, trying to... Uh, What's the word? Steal your ideas or steal your glory, you know, something like that. Somebody could be uh, abusing, taking advantage of you, okay? Um, I do feel like there's a lack of wanting to even try anymore, giving up. Somebody is giving up. Yeah. And I think that they're probably, there's been, somebody's being secretive, okay? Somebody is doing something behind the scenes, and you know this is going on. So it feels like you've decided, you know what, I, I'm not going to put in effort anymore. I guess I'm not going to put in effort anymore. I'm just going to let this go. If, if they're going to continue to keep secrets and be vindictive and um, not tell the truth and lie, then I'm just going to just get out of this situation, whatever it is, I don't know, we'll find out. Oh. Yeah, somebody that's watching this is growing weary, they're ready to quit, ready to give up. Um, ready to just start someplace else. It's like, you know what? I've, I've done everything that I can do. And no matter what I do, it's getting me nowhere. Um, and you've been trying so hard. You've been thinking that all your hard work is eventually going to pay off. But it seems like somebody just keeps on uh, 
not noticing your work or not um, paying attention or not giving you the credit that's due. You know, it feels like you just aren't getting what you deserve and, and you're at a point where you're not going to try anymore. It's like, I give up. I give up. If, if you aren't going to recognize what I'm worth, then I give up. You know, I don't need to compete. I don't need to compete anymore. If You know, there's some kind of competition going on where you've been trying to compete for something that you've come to the point where you realize I'm not getting anywhere with this. It, it, no matter what I do, it's not working out, okay? It's like you're not being rewarded for all your hard work, okay? Um, you do have to really think about your choices. It's time to make a decision. If you stay where you're at, then this is where you'll be, okay? I see that there's quite a bit of discontent here, whether this is in a love relationship or work or career or somewhere. There's some there's some disconnect discontent. It's like um, there's been some kind of manipulation where... Um, Somebody has been trying to. It's a, there's been some sneaky behavior. There's been some sneaky behavior where somebody's trying to bring you down and trying to use your creations or your juju or your energy or your work for their profit, for their benefits. Like you're being taken advantage of. Okay. Somebody that's watching this is, is being taken advantage of and, and and they're feeling like I'm ready to give up. I feel it. I know it. I can't do this anymore. I'm not going to give you my energy and time if you aren't going to recognize me. Um, so this, I'm not sure if that's work related or love related, but now we are going to concentrate on love and I'm going to try to put them into one reading instead of separating them now. I think for somebody that's watching this, there's been some competition at work and you're about ready to blow the horn, okay? That's what that's about. Um, what about love? You know, there could be a partner at work even that is uh, sabotaging you. I do see some work sabotage here. What about love for Taurus for this week? What do we have for love? You have to change your perception, okay? You have to change your attitude to find love. You might have to make some sacrifices, okay? And I'm, I, you know, I'm sure that somebody doesn't want to hear this, but you might have to sacrifice your um, independence to find love, okay? You might need to bring your confidence up, your self-esteem, your self-worth. You might have to have the courage to put yourself out there. You know, I feel like you have to master your emotions and for you to find this ultimate love, this ultimate commitment, or for you to excel or improve the commitment that you're in, you have to have confidence in yourself. You have to love yourself. You have to have the courage to let it happen. You have to um, stop feeling like you can't get attached because you will get hurt. You know what I mean? That's what I see here. It's like there's a possibility that love could come into your life. There is for somebody that's watching this if you're single, okay? If you're single, there's a possibility that somebody could come into your life brand new, okay? But your self-confidence and your self-worth could really play a big impact. You know what I mean? You may feel like you're not worthy, okay? You're not worthy of this love. You're not worthy of... Um, a commitment or you're not worthy of this happiness you may feel like that I'm just saying but the thing is is it's time to master your emotions it's time for you to um, 
attract, okay? And to attract, you have to have self-esteem, you have to have self-worth, you have to have self-confidence. So it is a time of transformation. It's a time of, of you letting go. It's a time of you opening up, letting your letting love come in, okay? It feels like to me that some of you have your guard up. You have this barrier whereas you are not willing to let the barrier down for fear of um, getting attached to someone and then being rejected, okay? It feels like this is a, you're being tested this week. Are you ready to accept love? Do you want a resurgence of a relationship? Do you want a reunion? Do you want to um, allow yourself to commit? Or are you too afraid to commit? Because I see that there's a fear of commitment here for somebody that's watching this. Um, and with this chariot card, it says that it's time to move on. It's time to move. It's time to put yourself in the driver's seat and allow yourself to be victorious in love. It's, it is, but you have to allow it, all right? You, it's mental, okay? This is all mental. It's about mastering your emotions and allowing yourself to be loved, okay? Um, you could be dealing with a Cancer. You could be dealing with a Gemini. Uh, you do have a Leo here as well. We also have Taurus and Pisces. Um, who else do we have? That's what I see so far. Let me see what else I can get here. And what do I want to use? We're going to use the Angel Romance card for this cards for this love portion. It feels like it's time for you to make a decision. Pay, pay, and you know, you do have to really think about the consequences of your decision. Do you want love or do you not want love? If you want love, you're you're going to have to be open to it. Okay? Are you really really open to love being in your life? Are you? Because, I mean, if you are, then you're going to have to, to let it happen instead of, and let down the barrier, okay? You're going to have to take a risk. I do feel like for somebody, new love is coming in. And this isn't going to be for every single person, okay? If you are in a relationship now, you know, there could be a resurgence. There could be um, a reconciliation, you know, if you've been going through hard times. There could be. But you're not letting it happen. You're not letting it happen by staying stuck in a place where, uh, kind of like a stubbornness, like you're resisting a change. You're resisting looking at things from a new perspective. You're resisting this, um, letting go of a grudge. Okay, it's like there's if you're in if you're coupled right now and you're trying to make things better, you have to let go of a grudge. You have to let go of something. If you're single, there is new love that could come into your life, but you may not allow it because you're you're for fear of rejection and for fear of you know if you're worthy. I'm not good enough. I don't think I'm good enough. I don't look good enough. I I don't make enough money. Whatever the case is, you know something like that. I'm just not good enough for this love. Um, I do feel like for somebody, somebody, uh, there's somebody that has stirred your romantic feelings or, or who is going to stir your romantic feelings. You could meet this person at some kind of gathering, okay? Some place where there, there's a bunch of people together and everybody's having fun and talking or whatnot and this person uh shows up and they they show up unexpectedly and you guys have this connection that is um profound but you still don't feel worthy like oh that wasn't real that kind of feeling you know so just pay attention to your feelings at this time if you feel this this profound familiarity or you feel like you have this connection with somebody, don't deny yourself, okay? You do have to have self-confidence and self-worth. I see that. And I see that there's a lot of fear here. There's a lot of fear of I'm not good enough. This next card is retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. This card comes up when, it, when it's time for you to heal, okay? It is time for you to heal. 
And maybe that's what you're going through right now. Maybe you've been going through a time of, of healing. <laughs> or maybe this is why you're not ready to open up to somebody. is because you're disconnected. All right. Interesting. Financial constraints. Interesting. Perhaps, like I said, for some of you, you feel like you feel like you don't, you're not worthy. You don't make enough money. You're, you can't take care of yourself enough. So you, you feel like you're not good enough for somebody. But that is not the case. It's not the case. <coughs> I'm going to read the card because I don't know these by heart yet. This card shows an old-fashioned safe with little money but lots of cobwebs and dust. Money may be tight at this time. So rein in your spending and be circumspect about the financial requirements in your life. This is not a time of indulgence, so be aware of what's really important and consciously, consciously choose your expenditures. There's a big difference between what you need and what you want. This card is telling you to take care of your needs and bide your time. Things will get better. But for now, be willing to live more conservatively and always value the money and the good things you already have. Interesting. So many of you may not be open to love this week because of financial issues. But for somebody, I feel, I don't know who it's for, there is love that unexpectedly that could come into your life. But you feel like you are not worthy. And I'm here to tell you that if you feel the connection, remember your worth. Remember who you are. Be proud of who you are. Because that's what the strength card is. It's about being proud. Be proud of how far you've come. Be proud of who you are. You are worthy. And that message for somebody. I don't know who. Now we are going to go back to the question. The question that you asked. Okay. At the beginning of the reading. Okay. You ready? Do you have your question? This is the angel answers. I'm going to have to read it because. Big happy changes. Ooh. Yay. It looks good. That's a yes. That's a yes answer. Whatever your question was. Looks like a yes to me. Big positive changes are coming into your life. You may find yourself on a new career path, entering a new relationship, or moving to a new home or city. Embrace these exciting events, knowing that your angels will be, be beside you all the way. What you are asking about may require you to take leaps of faith that seem frightening or beyond your ability. Trust that the opportunities before you are meant to bring happiness. These options would not have presented themselves unless you were ready for them. Release your fears and follow your heart. Oh, that's so perfect. You're worthy. So Taurus, this is what I have January 15th through January 21st. Talk to you soon.